Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. It's February uh, 21st and we're going to talk about propagation and giving an update on uh, how things are going. All of these that are right here, this was the batch that went into water first and, and uh, didn't start setting roots right off. Now, uh, there's only two varieties here. I've got the Wildwood and the Ranch variety, which are two good varieties, but uh, the Bob Gordon was the one that uh, was real slow to root off the first batch. Now, I have some here, and these are uh, Bob Gordon, and let's see if I can pull one out here without really destroying it. Okay, we lost the bottom. This doesn't have roots on it yet. There are one or two that do have roots out of these earlier ones. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is up pot and I'll give an update on some of these. And you can see on this one here, it's really going strong. Uh, got really good roots started on the bottom. Uh, in fact, it's got real good growth on the top. So you notice it dried out on the, the top of this. Now, this might have been better if it was wrapped with parafilm. I have no idea. Uh, regardless, uh, it's going to be uh, like we have it now. And what I'm going to go through here is I'm just going to take these. I'm going to uh, take a pot. It's roughly, I think, a, about a half gallon pot. And I'm just going to put these, put some soil in there, put these in here. And then I'm going to uh, fill soil around them. And I've got a lot of uh, perlite in this still because I, I want... I'm going to have these in the greenhouse, and as, I've, as I'm watering these, uh, I want to uh, have good drainage. So uh, we're going to pay close attention uh, to the type of material we're using for these because uh, I don't want to end up taking and having, having the roots uh, start getting saturated and holding a lot of water, not getting a lot of air. And slow them down. Uh, the, as the moisture drains down, and you could see that one was a little bit dry. As the moisture slims down, the roots start trying to go out to get more, so so it'll do them good. But anyway, I'm going to go through and uh, pot these up, and then we'll go take a look at some of the other propagations. I managed to find eight that had already started setting roots. Uh, out of this tray now like I say these were the ones that were set in water first they didn't go directly into the soil uh, so they're slower to root uh, even though this one has a lot of leaves on it it's still not showing roots out uh, to the edge of the the uh, soil so we're going to leave it but we did get eight uh, the ranch seems to be rooting quicker than the wildwood uh, now we're going to uh, go to the the bob gordon see what we've got and i think maybe one or two but but a lot of these are probably going to be failures because they they uh the wood is drying out now on some of them the wood did dry out on top and then they came sprouted out from the bottom and we'll see if that happens uh definitely we're not finished with these uh, some of them are going to do good some aren't but i do see some uh, fungal gnats flying around so uh, We'll see if we can't uh, treat these with something to to get rid of that so they're not going to affect uh, uh, these tender rooting plants. All right, we've managed to find a couple of the uh, Bob Gordon variety, got them potted up. Uh, now we'll carry these others back out, let them spend some more time in the greenhouse, and we'll, we'll carry these ones we potted up uh, back out to the greenhouse and give them good water. We have them out here in the greenhouse with the rest of them. These are all uh, the elderberries there. These these right up here. These are 
the figs that the first ones that were put up now uh, I haven't checked them all but I do know that they most of them are rooting oh I say most of them uh, probably 50% it's kind of a lower amount this year than normal but normally I take my cuttings when they start sprouting early uh, they tend to take off better I, I know before I uh, took and started propagating in April which everybody wants to do through the winter but they seem to do good this one here does have roots out to the edge of the pot so it's it's taken off good but a lot of these others I've checked uh, they're they're not quite there now I haven't messed with any of my uh, peach or plum cuttings that's there I do know these are growing because uh, like right here it's grown out from the inside it is showing a little bit of green up on top uh, and a lot of them a lot of them are it's we're still getting some cool weather of course I I cover these when we're gonna have uh, freezing weather and of course you got a lot of transplants need to go out some cabbages and some lots and not a kale and uh, have some more celery need to get it in the ground but I haven't, I have, I haven't seen a whole lot of excitement in some of these, like down here. Uh, the same thing with my uh, peach. Some of this is rootstock, and some of it's peaches. Uh, it's, it hasn't uh, started doing any good. So now let's go off into the uh, grow station area and see what's over there. And here's the figs that I have or some of the figs that I have at the gross station here along with I have apple and uh, all kinds of others but I was looking here and as you can see I have one this is uh, actually sprouting out the bottom and it has roots coming out the side so so these are beginning to uh, root out in place it appears and these ones here because a different method that that I have a real good percentage of uh, success and we'll see how it goes because uh, some always do a little bit later than others but uh, anyway that's kind of where we're sitting we've got a lot of leaves forming on them now and uh, we've got a lot of uh, leaves forming on these over here they're doing good got them under the light uh, <clears throat> I'd have preferred to uh, maybe start these earlier in the uh, season as far as so they could root in before they set leaves but being they set in leaves I'm going to give them uh, the opportunity to grow and uh, I'll just keep make sure we keep plenty of moisture but they're looking good I know they're, they're forming roots on most of them uh, we'll see what kind of percentage we get overall and of course our other uh, Transplants they're doing good our tomatoes getting their second second leaves on them. They're getting carried away our, our uh, Cucumbers up here. They're ready to go in the ground. They've got tons of roots and uh, even our little grapefruit trees up here are doing good. So so we'll keep on with that but anyway, if you want to keep up to date on the progress of these, well, of course, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe, hit the bell button. And if you like it, give it a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel. Happy gardening.